everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's web webinar, A Beginner's Look at Document Management. See why 17,000 customers around the world use Docuware every day. My name is Nicole Schmeida, Senior Marketing Specialist here at Docuware. And I'll be moderating the session today. Where we're going to have a Q&A at the end. But uh, in our main presenter today, um, we have John Keenan. He's a Senior Sales Director. He has over nine years experience equipping companies of all sizes with document management and workflow solutions. So it's great uh, we have them online today. On the left, you can see the outline for the session. John will give you a document management 101. Then I'll go into a live demo so you can see it in action, get a first look, and then we'll get to your questions. Thank you, Nicole, and thank you all for joining. I hope hopefully by the end of this half hour, you'll have found the experience to be very beneficial. Today, we're going to do a, a beginner's look at document management. In order to do that, however, what we really need to do is identify the challenges, right? And the challenges are pretty simple. We have our documents and data in multiple silos. What does that mean? Well, some of our data is in paper format. Some of our documents are in email systems, in computers, and then finally, line of business applications. It's amazing the amount of documents and data that's being created in things like ERP systems and accounting systems. So this presents a huge problem. It's a huge challenge. And the challenges are actually uh, uh, proved out by the studies that are being done. Studies are showing that we spend 30 to 50% of our time searching for the documents and data required to run our businesses. Let's think about that for a second, 30 to 50% of our time. So for you department heads and business owners, that means at best you're getting a half day's production from even your best employees. So how can we help? Well, what the DocuWare system does is consolidates all of those documents into a central secure repository and puts those documents at your fingertips. So what we're essentially doing is giving you back a half day's production for all of the employees that are using DocuWare. But we go way beyond that. We can then, once we get our paper under control, help you with workflow and forms, business process. What's a workflow? In very simplistic form uh, uh, today, we're going to define workflow as passing what used to be a piece of paper from one person to another, okay? Everything, any, any of the areas where you were currently passing paper around the organization can now be done digitally in a very efficient manner, helping you save money and build profitability. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't downloaded the top 10 must-haves when vetting document management solutions, please do it. If you're serious about evaluating document management, make sure that every system you're looking at, DocuWare certainly does, has all 10 features. I'll be showing you several of the features during the demonstration that I'm doing, but as you get into it, you're going to recognize that there are other features that are going to be necessary to really give you the value that you're looking for. So what is DocuWare? DocuWare is a cloud, uh, is a browser-based solution that puts your documents at your fingertips. It's available on-premise or in the cloud, and you can now access your documents from anywhere in the world using a computer and or a, a, a smartphone or mobile application, uh, mobile device. I apologize. So beyond that, you can also participate in those workflow tasks from anywhere in the world. So again, we start by giving you back 50% of your time, but then we can build efficiencies around business process. Every organization I've ever talked to regarding document management is somewhere on a digital journey. Some organizations are 100% paper. Some organizations are somewhere in between 100% paper and completely digital, right? Somewhere in between. The good news about DocuWare is we can meet you wherever you are and help you from that point forward. If we need to bring in documents from email, we can do it. We can import PDFs, right? We can bring documents in from other line of business applications. And of course, if you're com uh, uh, converting paper, we can scan those documents directly into DocuWare. Once they're docu in DocuWare, they'll be completely secure and at your fingertips, and then we can really build value around workflow and forms. And then on the output side, 
we can help you by eliminating the transfer of information to other line of business applications. So we can extract information from the documents inside DocuWare and sell, send them to your other critical applications to eliminate any of the manual work being done to get that accomplished today. And then finally, we have a robust reporting feature. So you can, you can help analyze any of the processes in your organization at the same time. DocuWare can be started in any department. So we typically scale horizontally. What does that mean? Well, remember the definition of workflow. Every department, first of all, has trouble finding their stuff, right? That 30 to 50% of our time. But once we get those documents in the, under control, every department under your roof has workflow requirements. So in human reach, in, in the HR department, we might be routing a resume through a hiring decision. In sales, we might be trying to get that sales order through that, that purchase. And then finally, in accounting, we might be sending an invoice through some type of approval so we can get the invoice paid. Right? The beauty of the DocuWare workflow engine is it's completely configurable around whatever your needs are. We can start small and we can grow from there. We always start by putting your documents at your fingertips. So let's take a look. So DocuWare essentially does three things really well. And I'm beating a dead horse here, but the first thing we do well is put your documents at your fingertips. The second thing we do well is route those documents. And the third thing we do well is prevent the need to create documents moving forward through a robust forms capability. And all of this is wrapped in a really secure system that's incredibly easy to use. I was hired almost nine years ago by DocuWare, and I was told that I would have to do document management presentations and demonstrations without the help of a solutions architect. I thought it was impossible because most of the solutions I had sold to date were really complicated and difficult to use. This is so simple that you can get value from DocuWare from the very beginning. So let's take a look at what we're looking at. On the right-hand side, we have our document viewer. This is where we'll work with our documents. On the left-hand side, we set up our work areas, and the work areas are divided by the tabs across the top. We're currently on our tray tab. When you think of a tray, simply think of an inbox. It's a staging area prior to putting a document in an electronic file cabinet. Once it's in the file cabinet, it is literally at our fingertips. We can find it by going to our search tab or our list tab. Okay, and our final work area that I'm going to talk about today is our task area. These are the workflow tasks, right? I have a review to do. I have a signature to apply. I have an approval to make. It really will depend on what your business process needs are. Most people that look at this user interface for the first time agree that it's pretty simply laid out and also agree that they think they'll be able to work with it right away. So let's go to the next work area and take a look on how we put our documents at our fingertips, right? When we store a document, we collect data associated with that document so we can search on it, right? The search data will be different depending on the document types that we're looking for. You're looking at a typical accounting example. So in accounting, we might want to search for our documents by company name, by document type, by document number, and so on. In human resources, we might search on last name, first name, employee number. In contracts, it's very important to, to uh, get renewal dates and things like that. These are the data points that we can search on once we store a document inside DocuWare. So let's take a look at how easy it is. In this case, I'm gonna search, start by company name. I wanna see documents associated with Flying Tom but I don't wanna see every document associated with Flying Tom. I just wanna see the bank statements. And by executing that search, it takes me directly to the document I was searching for. Now, most people that see this type of searching remind me that it reminds them of Google. And it does, doesn't it? If I Google pizza places, I get millions of hits. Pizza places, Boston, 10,000. Pizza Places Boston on Commonwealth Avenue, I get three. Isn't that what we just did? We simply started with a search area, uh, a search term, and then we added another one to get more specific for the document that we're looking for. 
This is really powerful because this means by using the pizza analogy, I can train your people to effectively get to their documents instantaneously with virtually no training at all. I'm going to go back to that number again. 30 to 50% of our time is spent wasted. Hopefully, you're starting to see the fact that we're going to give you a bunch of that time back. So let's reset this search because it gets better than this. Right? Every document that's stored in DocuWare is read. We use OCR technology to actually extract and read the data. So that allows us to also search full text. So if I want to search within the confines of the document itself, I can do that. In this case, let's say I want to look into this accounting file cabinet for all the documents with the word amount on it. But then I stop myself and I say in the accounting file cabinet, they probably all have the word amount on it. So I'm going to get more specific. And what I can do is add a document type. I'm going to search for the lease contracts with the word amount on them. And by doing that, it takes me directly to the document that I was looking for. And by the way, when I open up that document, it will actually highlight the information that I was searching on. Pretty powerful. So now you know that you can do that Google-like search to get to your documents. But what you'll find quickly within DocuWare is we all search for the same stuff over and over and over again. And that's what our next workspace is for. This workspace, it's called lists. When you think of lists, think of favorites. It's those searches that I continually go back to. So I have some set up. Let's say I work on the uh, loading dock and I'm always looking for those uns unsigned delivery notes. Here they are. Let's say I work in the legal department and I'm always looking for those active contracts. Here they are. Let's say I work in the invoice processing department and I wanna see the invoices that have been started into an approval workflow. Here they are. And you'll notice my favorites stay open, right? Here's my unsigned delivery notes. Here's my active contracts and here's my invoices that have been started in a workflow. So this is configurable around your individual needs as well as can be provided for all employees to search on. Again, I've been with DocuWare for a long time. It's been a long time since I've done an index or a full text search because 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm searching for the same five things over and over again. So we're moving along here. We're now really starting to see the value that we can get from DocuWare, and it's really easy to use. Now, let's go back to search, though, for a second, because you might be wondering, right, who's going to fill in all of these search terms when we store a document, right? And it's really an important question, because if I give you back 100% of that half a day of wasted time that you're currently using to find documents, but you have to fill in all of this data when you store a document, I've given you no net benefit. The beauty of DocuWare is you don't have to fill in the information. DocuWare will do it for you. We have multiple techniques to do it, but one of them is for DocuWare to use artificial intelligence to learn the structure of your documents. Once we know the structure of your document, we know the information that needs to be taken from it. And then we color code every document that's brought into DocuWare with a, with a flag telling the user whether or not the structure of the document is understood. That was a mouthful, so let's take a look at it. I'm going to store this one that's color coded green, and you'll notice that DocuWare fills in all the information that's necessary so we don't have to do it. So you're not gonna spend extra time storing a document just to save all that time finding a document. DocuWare will learn your documents. So DocuWare's artificial intelligence capabilities will actually do it for you. So all I have to do is simply hit the store button, right? So let's pivot. How do the documents get into DocuWare? Well, the glib and short answer is any way you need them to. Right? We talked about a lot of documents are in an email format, but we can bring them directly in from an email folder or we can set up DocuWare to store documents. So you're looking at an email here. If I want to store this into DocuWare, I simply hit the store button from my email system and that document is automatically being sent into DocuWare. Right? If you have email addresses set up for multiple documents, that's fine too. We can monitor that folder and import those documents automatically. 
If you're scanning documents, walk that paper over to the scanner, press the button, and as soon as the paper converts to PDF, DocuWare will grab it and bring it into the system, okay? And then finally, I'm, you can import from any file folder tree structure. So I hit the import button, I'm going to choose this document and simply import it, okay? As it comes in, you'll notice DocuWare is reading it and will tell me whether or not it understands its structure, it's color-coded green, so it does. So now all I have to do is hit the store button. DocuWare extracts all of that search uh, information, and now I hit the store button. All right, so we've covered a little bit of ground. We've already know that the user interface is simple and intuitive, even for non-technical users. Okay, we know that our documents are at our fingertips. We can go to the search tab. We can go to the list tab. We could search within the document itself with full text search capabilities. So let's now take a look at workflow. I don't know if you noticed that every time I stored an invoice during this conversation, a task appeared. That's because I have an approval workflow running in the background. So we don't have to do anything to get a document into a workflow other than store it. In this case, I stored the invoice and it went directly into an approval workflow. So let's take a look at the task. You'll notice that this one says assign to a cost center manager for approval. Let's take a look at that. What am I doing here? I'm simply passing this invoice, which used to be paper, from one person to another. So all I need to do is simply identify who I want to pass it to. I'm going to send this to the manufacturing manager and confirm and you'll notice it's no longer in my task list because it's been electronically sent to the manufacturing manager's task list for the approval, right? Again, this might not be your workflow, but it doesn't matter. We can route resumes through, through hiring decisions or any document type through any workflow required decision or, or workflow requirement under your roof. Let's take a look though, what happened at the manufacturing manager. So I'm going to log in at the manufacturing manager, okay? And very simply go directly to his task list. And you'll notice his says, check the invoice. He simply kept it really simple. His choice in this case, approve or reject. It's whatever your process is. He approves it. And now it gets routed to whoever's next in line for this workflow, okay? So what did I just demonstrate? Well, we stored the document. We have workflows simply running in the background. In this case, the workflow was triggered automatically by the document type invoice, and it goes directly into that approval workflow. Think about the efficiencies that can be gained. Doesn't matter if that manufacturing manager is in the building, right, or at home, or at the airport or in the car, because DocuWare is accessible from all of those locations, either through the mobile application or the web client using a computer. Wow, pretty powerful. So what's the third thing that we do well? Forms, how do we define forms? Forms are defined as simply collecting the data that we need to create a document. We wanna avoid the need to create those paper documents moving forward and forms can help us with that. So you're looking at a DocuWare eForm Right, and I simply created this e-form so we can send all of the information from the e-form to create a non-disclosure agreement. So there's a couple of features to the forms that are really powerful. Probably the most important feature and most powerful feature is you can't submit the form unless all the required data is filled in, right? So if I go over to this area over here and I get rid of the signer title, you'll notice that the submit button is no longer available to us. This is powerful, right? You know, things like uh, employment documents. If, if anybody from HR is on this, this webinar right now, I would ask you, how many times in your career has that stack of first aid documents been entirely filled out? The answer I typically get is never. So this prevents all of that duplication of effort, right? So, so all I really need to do is, is finish this. I'll call myself a controller and submit the form. As soon as that form is, is uh, uh, accepted, that document has been created inside DocuWare. So let's take a look. We'll go in, into DocuWare. I'm going to go to my search tab and 
let's take a search, right? Company name on that form was JTK LLC. The document type was non-disclosure agreement, but I don't want to see all of them. In this case, I just want to see the, the, uh, the one that was stored today so I can actually siphon in by date range. So in this case, I hit the button and here's the non-disclosure agreement that I created by using an e-form, okay? Looks nothing like the e-form, does it? No, all we did was map the information from that e-form to create this document. So all of the information that I'm highlighting here is the information that came in from the e-form. And by the way, non-disclosure agreements require signatures. So that's just another workflow that I can show you. This non-disclosure agreement is already in the signature workflow. What's a workflow? Passing what used to be a piece of paper from one person to another. All right, so let's recap. Really simple, e easy to use user interface. Documents at your fingertips. Business process automation using workflow and never having to create another document again by using our forms capability. To get started right away, even faster, we do have ready to use pre-configured pre solutions available. Um, you can contact us or your doctor partner for more information. And going back to today's theme overall, you know, no matter how big or small, 17,000 customers worldwide use DocuWare. So if you take a look at this, you know, various industries, various company sizes are part of the DocuWare community and we hope that you can join us as well. And lastly, we just wanna mention that I know compliance and certifications, awards and user reviews are important for your uh, solution, solution research. So we definitely have a lot of great reviews on sites like G2 Crowd, Captera and Gartner. Definitely check those out. And we do have a lot of award and certification information available for you as well. Just wanna know that it is important to us to make sure that solution is secure and compliant for your needs as well. And with that, um, you know, again, today was introductory, but if you only remember one thing from today, just think of DocuWare as your new 24 seven team member, user-friendly as John, recapped, secure, and they're always working for you when you're not. So with that, we will get into the questions. Please take a look at the next slide coming up right now. It'll let you know how to take the next step, who to get in touch with, how to continue the conversation.